as a pagan priest, as a, someone who studies mythology and Greeks, and someone who understands the way that the world works, I can tell you that God is a vengeful God. And God will take lives, regardless of whether we are ready to leave this earth or not. I have been blessed in that my parents, who always put us to the test in life, and always challenged us to be better, and always showed us how to do that most of the time, unless they were literally in the gutter, that openly we have rights. But at the same time, we had a position within a family. And that position in the family told us what we could and couldn't achieve. My father was highly supportive of my small business. He was pleased with how I was living my life. He was caring and kind to my son and my wife, and openly he was the power in our family. He lived a long time, and I guess that's a blessing of mine, but what I can say to you about people in a family is that as soon as a patriarch of power leaves, someone else tries to step in and seize. The liar in that child is still the liar being pushed on and being prodded by Satan. Because if you were being led by Christ, you wouldn't have done half the shit you've done by now. You wouldn't have gone into your own selfish desires for someone's life that is none of your right in any way under Christ. You see, every human being has the choice of free power. Everyone in America has a cho choice of free will. But in order to choose your life for Christ, you have to let other people have a life. And when you interfered with a life, when you impeded a life, when you sent someone to try to kill a life so you could have more inheritance, you really monkeyed yourself. And the arrogance of you is thinking that if you can get the whole crew to gang up and piss on someone that you'll get your due. And you won't. You'll get your due in hell. Because you put yourself, you pitted yourself against Christ. So let's talk about how smart that is. Are you going to be taking someone home? Are you going to be saving their soul? Are you going to be moving a heart? Are you going to be enhancing a mind? Are you going to be putting people on the path to find the love that you simply have never found and can't find? Because the person you married is what you've become today. You've become just like the person you've married today. If they're passive-aggressive, then you've become passive-aggressive. If they're a bastard of Satan, then you've been playing in that lane. And openly, you might have created some beautiful children through that alliance and now those loins. But openly, what do I see is just kids in defiance. Defiance of other people's rights. 